Welcome to this week's painting update. Um, it's a windy old day outside and the branches are rattling on the roof so I apologise in advance for extraneous sounds. I'm trying a new format this week. Um, I've got out my gaming Lazy Susan um, and hopefully this will uh, this will keep the pictures a bit more interesting so rather than the miniatures disappearing once I've talked about them they'll just rotate round and we'll we'll end up having something to look at for the whole video for a change okay I'll start with the biggest group I painted this week which are these um, Games Workshop Wraiths um, I forget the actual name because uh, well I don't really care honestly they're um, they're really nice figures I think um, they're a prime example of how plastic enables you to make miniatures that um, that you couldn't normally um, manufacture. I mean, this wouldn't work in metal or resin. They're too thin and they'd be too flimsy, but that's not maybe the best one. But the fact that they're just sitting here supported by their, their little billowing robes, um, they're just really nice miniatures. Excellent undead, um, scary looking ghosts. For a change so um, I was very pleased with them they were very easy to paint um, you can see online far better painted versions of mine um, but I, I cracked through these very quickly and um, yeah very pleased I've got some more of these to do um, different undead but same sort of idea um, these ones are push fit miniatures uh, I really hate multi-part plastic kits that you have to glue together so um, I bought some other push fit ones I got some mounted wraiths and some ones with sort of horse skulls so um, we'll get to them in the fullness of time moving on then from plastic to resin these are some new black scorpion um, fighting men um, Black Scorpion had a, a sale recently and you could get a free miniature if you ordered. So um, I had a look through their range and I saw these and these are really characterful miniatures. Um, I've got a lot of Black Scorpion pirates, but I didn't paint them. I got my uh, my friend Andy McDonald Rice to paint them for me um, because they had lace and stuff on them and I can't stand doing that. So these... These were surprisingly um, easy to do. They're, they're quite delicate miniatures. Um, I kept a limited palette because I wanted them to be... I want them to be hirelings rather than, than main characters. Uh, and because they're resin, they're one-piece resin... Um, can you see with this guy? There's a bit of infill behind shields and stuff on some of them. But... Um, they're nice they don't need washing before you paint them um they don't use release agents in their molds and stuff so um so again another fairly quick set uh and i've ended up with a um a nice group of characterful followers all right so uh plastic resin now for some metal these are two malifo um, nurses um, that I there's a story behind these I ordered them when I was doing my horror hospital Cthulhu scenario and um, I got them off eBay and they didn't turn up and so after a month or two I got a refund and then a couple of months after that they they arrived in the post um, but posted recently so it's like maybe the chap forgot he hadn't sent them anyway whatever I tried to contact him to say they'd arrived and whatever but he didn't have an account anymore so I've got two free Malifaux nurses um they're as you'd expect with Malifaux um they're sort of fetish nurses um but this one with this gravy basting and uh, who knows where that goes that's quite horrible so um so they're joining the horror the horror collection uh, along with my um, murderous doctors and escaped lunatic patients 
What have we covered so far? Plastic, resin, metal. Now for some Reaper Bones plastic. Just jot these guys back a bit. These are these were the quick miniatures this week. Um, they are flying monkeys from Reaper's uh, kind of steampunk um, Wizard of Oz series. I got them to be clockwork brass monkeys for my Arabian uh, setting sort of thing a, a wizard could send after the players. So um, they were painted uh, what were they painted? Vallejo Brassy Brass, sorry, uh, and then a chestnut wash and then yellow eyes. They were, you know, three-year-old could paint them in about two minutes. Uh, but they're quite nice little characterful miniatures. Um, and, uh, and were just what I needed. Last up, we get on to 3D printed resin. Um, these are maybe not safe for work if you're browsing in your cubicle. So um, these are miniatures from Arcane Miniatures who produce um, STL files for you to print your own miniatures. I, I bought these off Etsy because I don't have a, a resin printer, but um, I'm very impressed with the quality of miniatures I've been getting. Uh, so I'm probably just going to buy one. Um, OK, so these are Demons of Lust obviously um, and uh, I, I ordered them at 40 millimeter scale because I didn't want to end up with tiny figures um, those of you who know me know I can't stand painting tiny things like um, hassle-free miniatures wonderful miniatures but I cannot paint them They're, the details too fine the figures are too small and it they ends up my pathetic attempts at painting them just end up annoying me so um, I wanted to make sure for my first orders from this range that um, I'd get something that was was the right size to paint. Um, I ordered the Vampirella, not Vampirella figure that I got last week as well um, and I ordered her in the normal scale um, but that was from someone else and she arrived later. As it turns out she was a fine scale. So here we go. So um, here's the male Demon of Lust really nice styling on these sculpts I think um, I've got more to come I bought an entire temple set with them um, with snake women and, and a Medusa and stuff so um, they'll be coming along soon here's the female she doesn't have any clothes on so avert your eyes if you there she is just they have um, she has she has kingdom death style thighs which um, Are quite fun I think so uh, there we go two large demons um, and that completes 21 miniatures for this week right so there you have it that was the whole lot let's get back to the first guys the race um, as always thank you for watching and I'll see you next time